What's up guys, this is sort of a follow up to the chapter 644 Naruto manga discussion. Why? Because I frankly forgot. And so this is going to be a sort of just discussion and it's going to be titled something like Hashirama's power or something like that. Because that's simply all I want to discuss. First off, before I forget, I want to make an announcement. I kind of did in the previous announcement video again, but I want to remind you guys. Uh, school is starting for me um very soon probably in two days so because of that i i'm very sort of concerned about being able to do manga reviews that's how tough it is and so um fortunately i mean i only have a few subscribers and even less who actually watch my videos on a weekly basis and so just a reminder again i'm just going to if worse comes to worse you might not hear from me and then i'll just come back and then do whatever week uh whatever week that is and do a review on that week and yeah i'm, I'm just gonna unfortunately have to skip whichever weeks i can't do and if i have time and i want to i'll, I'll have to make up weeks but probably not anyhow short video in the latest chapter, again, spoiler alert, Hashirama was battling Madara. So he is sort of unaware of a lot of things, including that the the uh, black and white ninja techniques Obito can use can sort of cancel Ido Tensei. And so there will be no regeneration or uh, sort of revival if you get a limb chopped off. And so here's the whole thing there's this one panel where he says he senses Naruto's chakra and he's like this is almost comparable to my own chakra and here's Naruto who has okay let me let me just finish the quote he says this is comparable to my chakra and on top of that he's he says something like oh wait I've, I think this is Naruto's chakra, but no, it's not. It's the Kyuubi's chakra as well, and so that just shows you the, the the amount of chakra Hashirama has naturally. Naruto is using his chakra plus his dad's, plus both halves of the Kyuubi chakra, and I thought before before we even knew that Naruto's Kyuubi chakra was just half of the actual Kyuubi's. I, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you agree that you were under the impression that this was a near infinite amount of chakra. And so now they're using like a near infinite amount. Like, I remember going through the Biju sort of the uh, ten, the tailed beast Wikia um, long ago. And I remember like reading up on the description of their chakra levels. And the QBs was the highest at the time before the ten tails was revealed. And it was something like it was it was described as near infinite almost infinite seemingly infinite but not infinite and so for Hashirama to say this is close to comparable to my own chakra is saying something I mean this this is a guy who developed this chakra naturally without dependence on the QB and so here's the thing like Naruto in in it of himself his chakra and Minato's is not even comparable to Hashirama's if that statement is sort of correct and like what what if what were to happen if his QB chakra were somehow sort of ripped from him and he couldn't depend on it anymore and it was something like Gara would he sort of be at a sort of very weak state in terms of chakra levels in comparison to Hashirama or would he have developed something similar to Gara, where he sort of on his own developed comparable levels to what he had before when he was Jinchiriki and so it's it's very interesting and I, I'm thinking that um, I don't know Hashirama is on a totally different level as is Madara because they're fighting on equal playing fields as well as Obito because Obito is like obviously even stronger than both Madara and 
well, I wouldn't say obviously, I mean, Madara still has some hidden tricks up his sleeves, as well as, well, I, I think Hashirama's, like, at the end of his game right now, he, he's been using all of his tricks. And so, yeah, these are three guys who are even stronger than Naruto right now. Um, so that's all I have to say for this video. As always, like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Peace.